Hi, I'm Charlie, and welcome to another FPP short. Today we are going to be adding a micro CYB hat, uh, an OLED hat, to our Raspberry Pi Zero. This hat will work on any type of Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi 3, 3B, 3B Plus, and Pi 4s. Um, with power off to the Pi, want to be careful whenever you're messing with GPIO pins, make sure you have power off that you don't jump anything and cause any damage. We just need to carefully connect the 20 pin GPIO connectors together, slide them together, and now we have a nice little package. Uh, so this is going to give us the OLED screen, a little joystick to navigate and select and go back from, and it also gives us a 12 volt power hookup if we want to power our Pi off 12 volts. Uh, with this hat, all you need is the power to the Pi, and the hat will run just fine. You do not need auxiliary power uh, to run this hat. So let's get going. So first thing I'm going to need to do is actually power up my Pi and get her going. Okay, so here we are on the FPP homepage. Uh, what we're going to want to do a lot, sometimes if you add it after you have FPP running, the OLED might not get picked up right away. Um, however, I've noticed lately more and more they do. Um, so right out of the gate, you might get lucky and not, it might just work on right when you boot it up. However, if it doesn't, it's very simple to get the OLED to work. Uh, you're gonna come to status control and FPP settings. You're gonna go into system and we're gonna look for status display and Currently, it's disabled. Um, on the micro CYBs, they're 128 by 64. Depending on the orientation you use your dis uh, little display as, it can be standard, uh, which would make it right side up. Or you could do flipped, where it's actually going to flip at 180 degrees on the display. So that all depends on how you're going to uh, employ the... Uh, Pi or how it goes into your uh, controller case or whatnot um, but you can choose either if you choose one of the colored ones um, and you have a you could uh, if you have a colored i2c display you can use that as well um, however the ones from micro CYB are just single color so one of these first two options you can pick either or so we're gonna select the first option and then we're gonna click reboot we're gonna let that reboot and it's gonna take a minute. So now that we are rebooted, and now we have our little OLED display. Um, we can use the joystick to go between settings, enable, disable, shut down, reboot, all that good stuff. Um, these are super helpful, especially for first time setup or troubleshooting, if you have network issues and you don't know your IP address. Um, for the price of them, if you don't have a dis OLED display on your controller or your master, I highly suggest picking one up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.